Welcome back to Auto Nation All Access. You know, in 2016, Chad Bettis was the Rockies' best pitcher. He won 14 games. He was primed for another good season in 2017 until cancer intervened. Bettis made just nine starts last year, missing the majority of the season while undergoing chemotherapy treatments. As he gets set to enter 2018, cancer is behind him, and Bettis is out to prove the best is still to come. Chad Bettis is all smiles this year at spring training, and after what he's been through, who can blame him? You know, going through everything last season and last spring training, uh, you know, I think, I think, honestly, I'm probably in the best mindset mentally um, going into this next season coming coming forward. I think, I think honestly, it doesn't get much harder than that. In November of 2016, Bettis was diagnosed with testicular cancer. He had surgery to remove the cancer, only to have it return in March of 2017 this time requiring chemotherapy. Chad missed the majority of spring training and the first 117 games of last season. I cannot imagine what's going through his mind right now. He made his return to the mound at Coors Field in August, just one month after his last chemo treatment. And that is see you later, strike three. Now seven months later, Bettis is gearing up for the 2018 season and has one very specific goal in mind. Stay healthy, stay healthy, that's, what, that's number one. As he enters the new year, Chad not only has a different perspective on baseball, he also has a different view on life. During his chemotherapy treatments last year, his wife Christina gave birth to the couple's first child. Going through everything last year was unbelievable. Um, but that being said, you know, I think everything is where it needs to be, and I, I think Baseball means a lot to me, but I don't think it's number one anymore, you know, and I think it's not that I don't enjoy my job. It's not that I'm going to go out, not go out there and compete, uh, you know, and, and take days off or anything. It's, but uh, everything's where it should be. It's incredible what he went through and what he overcame that whole thing last year with, the, with cancer and, and being able to come back and come back strong and, I mean, in a lot of people's opinions, better. Um, it's, it's truly incredible. He's someone that everyone in this organization and outside this organization truly looks up to because of what he has accomplished in really one full year. With his victory over cancer complete, Bettis is now focused on more victories, this time on the mound. We're so uh, oriented on, on, on winning now uh, that it's hard to put a, you know individual statistic up there because what we're, what we're trying to accomplish here is to get back into the playoffs and win. I want to be able to be able to be reliable and, and accountable and, um, and make every, every start, every fifth day. I think you know, that's one of my main priorities. I'm so happy for him. I really am because I mean, he's truly one of the good guys. And uh, you know, he regains his form, regains his strength. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of an uptick in the velocity. I think the pitchers are going to be crisper. Uh, I suspect Chad will, will really have a fine year for him. This offseason, Bettis was awarded the T Tony Canigliero Award, that award given to the Major League Baseball player that overcomes an obstacle and adversity through the attributes of spirit, determination, and courage. Bettis says it was at that award ceremony where the magnitude of all that he'd gone through really hit him.